guys is another previous problem uh, from the topic uh, limits, continuity, and differentiability. So again, it looks simple, and that's how it goes actually. You know, for most of the questions from this topic, limits, continuity, and differentiability, they look so simple because. But the thing is, there is something, there's some small concept that's involving uh, uh, that you need to understand, and you need to be sure about what you're applying. Only then you can apply that, right? You need to be conceptually very, very strong when it comes to first-year calculus. So it's something like that here. So your f of x here is given to be this, and it's said that x is not equal to pi by 4, right? And x is somewhere between 0 and pi by 2. Now, if it says that f of f, if f of x is continuous in this interval, then what is f of pi by 4? That means I have to define a pi, f of pi by 4. In this function, I can't put pi by 4, but I need to explicitly define some pi by 4 for which this content, this function will become continuous in this in this interval. So first of all, what you have to understand is, if a function is continuous, then its limit at that point must exist. If there is no limit, no point of continuity, no discussion at all. Limit has to exist, right? And uh, and so if the limit value is L, if the limit value is L, the function's value at that point should be the limit value. That means if the limit's value at that point be, is L, then the function's value also should be L. Then if that happens, like the function's value at that point should be L. So somewhere, something like that here. If I can prove, if I can prove, prove that uh, limit exists as, at pi by 4, right? If I can prove that limit exists at pi by 4, and if I explicitly define f of pi by 4 to be that limit value, then I can say it is continuous, continuous at pi by 4. And other than pi by 4, everywhere else, every, everywhere else it's continuous. The only issue is at pi by 4 because the denominator is becoming 0, right? So let's see. When you put pi by 4 in this function, what happens? You get a 1 minus 1 divided by 4 into pi by 4 minus pi. So you get a 0 by 0. But are you actually getting a 0 by 0? Like literally a 0 by 0? No. Your limit, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm tending my x to pi by 4. That means I'm not exactly putting pi by 4. I'm getting some value which is very, very close to 0, but not exactly 0. If it's exactly 0, I can't solve the problem. But it's a value which is very, very close to 0. So then their ratio can be some finite value because 0 0.001, which is a very, very small value divided by 0 0.0002, is a value 10 by 2, which is 5. So they are very, very small, but their ratio is some 5, right? It's finite, right? It's, it's, it's big enough. So uh, it's taking a 0 by 0 form. When that happens, I can apply allopetals rule to this. So what, what, what do I mean by allopetals rule? Differential of tan x is minus secant square x. I differentiate this separately. I differentiate this separately, which is 4, right? I differentiate this, I got I got a 4. And now I'll put x tends to pi by 4 to this. Limit x tends to pi by 4. Now, as you can see, whether I calculate right hand limit or a left hand limit for this doesn't matter, right? Because right hand limit will simply be x tends to pi by 4 plus, right, of this same function. And left hand limit will be nothing but limit x tends to pi by 4 minus of the same function. So if you put pi by 4 plus or you put pi by 4 minus, doesn't matter, it's anyways getting squared, right? So secant of pi by 4 is, secant of pi by 4 is root 2, right? Whether you put a pi by 4 minus or a pi by 4 plus, you'll still get a root 2. You'll still, put, you'll still get a root 2 from this. So this is minus 2 by 4, which is minus half. And this is also minus 2 by 4, which is minus half. So left hand limit and right hand limit are equal and they're equal to some minus half. So the limit also is equal to minus half, right? Your limit is equal to minus half. So I proved that the limit exists and it is minus half. Now, I can't put x equal to pi by 4 in this function. I need to define some pi by 4. If my if f of pi by 4 is this, if f of, f of pi by 4 is this limit value at pi by 4, right, then I can say function is continuous. So limit value is minus half. So f of pi by 4 has to be minus half. If this happens, then I can say that the function is continuous. So the answer is third option.